Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. When we last left off, we managed to escape Nemi, who is chasing us, and reactivate the trains, but we have ended up down here, down below, in the sewers. So, let's have a little bit of a walk around, shall we? Uh, let's grab some shotgun shells for our shotgun. Uh, do we need them? Take a pack, see what happens. I mean, we've got so much ammo for it, we might as well, I guess. Right, well. So we've got a stars upgrade bag there. Okay. There's the door there. Not quite sure how to get in there, but I'm sure we shall figure it out as we go on. I don't think that was Nemesis. Got a ladder that we can kick down there. Eh, we're all right, Joe. What have we got here? Increased sewer security. We have been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control area of the facility. In response, we are replacing the aging mechanical locks and interplant inter implementing new security protocols. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on you on hand at all times when moving throughout this facility. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so we've just read that, Jill. Okay. Show. I guess we're going down here. Oh, this place looks lovely, doesn't it? Look at that trash. Oh, lovely. Oh, boy. Yeah, I would, Joe. Um, I'm getting a G-Mutant vibe. There's a gun behind us, apparently. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which way do we go? Uh, let's go this way. Oh, hello. Um. Oh fuck. Um. Is that a beta hunter? It kind of looks like it. I'm guessing. Shoot it in the chops. Oh fuck! How much does this take? What the fuck was that? Not actually that much. Apparently, okay. That's a hunter. Was it that? Was that the hunter gamma or the hunter beta? I can't remember now. But ooh. Okay, so that's going to be the enemies down here, I'm, I'm guessing. I have seen those before. Explosive B. Okay. Combine with explosive A to create flame rounds, or combine with another explosive B to make ac acid rounds. Ooh, they're really powerful against living things. Research assistance long. Uh, oh, they're gammas. March 4th. Gammas released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish. Combat potential low. Yeah, I would say so. April 18th. Experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Oof. Umbrella has officially shut down Gamma Research. We managed to smuggle some specimens uh, with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan uh, Carlisi is more committed than ever to perfecting the Gamma line. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers. Increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gammas quickly learned the layout of the sewers and within two days were exploring the, sen the entire underground of Raccoon City. Fucking hell. All specimens are familiar and friendly towards us. 
Oh, but have procured a high-powered, but have procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. So they're territorial. They're kind of like guard dogs, sort of things. Interesting. We were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the gammas promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. Fucking hell. Ooh, MGL grenade launcher. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's drop you for now. I mean, do we need that? Semi-auto grenade launcher prototype. Cap prototype? Capable of firing many types of rounds. Takes a while to reload, but it boasts strong damage output. Yes. Okay. Okay. Invoice from Gunshop Kendo. Thank you for purchasing the XXXXXX grenade launcher. We've made special uh, we've made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of am ammunition types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model, and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is ref uh, reflected in the price as agreed. <laughs> Handwritten note on reverse. Explosive rounds, flame rounds, acid rounds, mine rounds. Can't readily be crafted. Not worth stocking up on. Won't help if we need to keep the gammas in line. Hmm. Okay. So the gammas... Okay, that's really interesting that gammas are, like, friendly. That's really cool. I, mean, I guess we can take this sucker out for a f for a test drive. I really don't like the fact that the bodies are there. And one thing that really weirds me out is the animations uh, further off screen. They kind of jib out and they're imperfect. They kind of render at half the frame rate, which is a bit strange. Oh, there he is. Hey, friend, though. I got a snack for you. Come on. Let's see that. There we go. How many of these do you take? Oh, he didn't like it. Oh, that looks painful. They take one of those. Okay. Uh, unless there's a lot of these. I was expecting these to be quite hard. Yeah, we're still getting that flickering problem. I have looked it up. Apparently a lot of, ooh, a lot of people are getting it. Hey friend, let's see that. Boom! Yeah, you don't scare Jill much. Burn. They're not as scary as the um, G-mutants. That's for sure. When I say scary, I mean they're not as intimidating, I should say. The G-Mutants were terrifying, man. They were really quite dangerous. Those things, eh, not so much. So, there is stuff down in these sewers that we haven't picked up, apparently, because it's red. Huh, I'm sure we're going to come back here eventually. Right, what have we got? A control room. Apparently. Oh, there's our battery pack. Ooh, it's a chunky boy. It's a very chunky boy. I keep meaning to remap my controls, but then I keep forgetting. Ooh, herb. Ooh. What do we have? I love the animation. I really do. Ooh, explosive hay. Oh, boy. Uh... Sure, I guess. A love letter. My darling, my little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power. And of course, to that uh, victorious 
uh, a ferocious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? I ha Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? Is it those very flaws that make you so very, very precious for me? But we'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammons, are truly superior. Mmm. Yes, this is the problem. We need to... Uh, we need to go back to an item box. We're already out of... Out of gear. And one second, guys. And we're back, guys. My uh, partner's just come back from work. She's uh, been given an Easter egg as well. All right, for some. Ooh, very nice. And we can't just drop those straight in the grenade launcher either, even though it's empty. That's awkward. Okay. Now, well, let's keep pushing forwards. I want to go back. Ooh. I guess that makes sense. Ooh. Two shots, right in the mouth. Reload, reload. Okay, the shotgun's alright, actually. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, that looks painful. Hunter Gamma. Oh. Shame the tooltips only last, like, for 30 seconds flat. Damn it. Right, let's grab all this stuff again. Right, so when we go back, we know we're going to have to fight the Hunter Gamma. Shotgun seems to be fairly good against them, but... You have to get close. And, uh... This is what's me to help her play this on the harder difficulty and get all the stuff, which sounds like a good plan to me. That sounds like fun. I'm thinking about running this game again on hard, uh... As well. But... I'm going to play it a couple of times beforehand. Obviously, this is my first proper playthrough through of the game myself. Right, we need to come back for all this stuff. Um, now, uh, we need the shotgun. Where is this git? There he is. All right, come on, you. Yeah, okay, so... You can't do any damage, I don't think, when their mouth is closed. But when their mouth is open, the shotgun is quite nice against them. I mean, I guess we've got to find a use for all these shotgun shells somehow. Yeah. Yeah, the shotgun takes them down really bloody quickly. <laughs> you don't have to creep around, babe. It's fine. Um, right. Now, uh, what have we got? Where was the item room? There's still another weapon there, apparently. Ah, the item room's down here. Let's go empty out some stuff. Now, I don't know how many Hunter Gammas we're going to have to fight. There's got to be a few, surely. Eh? Hey? Is it? I've fought three of them so far. But I, I remember you um, definitely having to get a few of them. Right. Um, so, let's jiggle our junk around. I, let's drop the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is cool. Uh, and it definitely works very well against those things. But we'll drop that for now because it's just eating our inventory space. Um, oh, also, babe. Yeah. I found an attachment I don't think you got for the handgun. Did you get the silencer? No. No, no. I got it off Nemesis. Um, because the handgun becomes a, a double slotted item. But the trouble is, because you can fight and down Nemesis so many times, it's hard to know when he resets and gets items. We're going to have to look that up, I think. Right, so. We're going to keep the shotgun, we're going to keep that, we're going to keep the battery, we'll keep that on us. Alrighty. Now, let's go back to that 
room, gather up the herb, because I don't want to leave any healing behind. I also want the flame ammunition, because, hello, flamethrower ammo. Wow, flame grenades. Now, I don't remember using acid grenades in this version yet. Now, if we remember to our old friend Barry Burton, they're really powerful against living things. So, I'm guessing hunters? Now, I haven't seen a hunter beta in this game. I didn't see any of that section with those in. So, I'm looking forward to those bad boys. Because we know, we know, hunters, oh yes. Oh yes, Hunters are a Resident Evil fan favourite. And Resident Evil 3 is unique, where you get the two flavours of them. Oh, I'm not a super fan of the Gammas. They're cool. Um, they don't really feel like they're part of the Hunter line though. Kind of a strange weapon. But then, I think they've only been in... if. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Hunter Gammas have only been in two Resident Evil games. They've only been in three. And I can't think. Actually, maybe they're only in three. Oh, fuck. Another one. Hello. That's number four. Come on, you big fat fucker. Yeah, he doesn't like the shotgun. He's not like the shotgun. He's pushing us up into a wall, though. Yeah, they really don't take many rounds. Like, the shotgun is... Oh, there's a hand grenade. The shotgun is plenty for those things. It almost feels like the, the grenade launcher is a waste, but... The grenade launcher is so much fun to use, and it's such a cool weapon. Uh, but then, flame ammo is a one-hit kill against them. But maybe... Just maybe, there might be a little juicy fella a little bit later on that we want to save those flame rounds for. Okay, so we've got our battery pack now. Let's load that up in there. A little bit, something like that. Uh, that door we can't open. So that's four gammas that we fought so far. And I want to go back down there just to have a little look. Make sure nothing's red. Make sure that we've got all of the items that we can. And then I'm going to end this video in about 12 minutes. And we are going to start uploading this game. This game I'm thinking about doing every day. Until we can... Yeah, there's still... There's still stuff in that corridor. Alright, let's go back. I mean, that grenade was well hidden. Uh, so back this way there's still stuff now I don't know if those Charlie dolls count as stuff to collect um, I'm going to say they probably don't right in here somewhere oh oh I didn't know you could go through here hey G Titan maybe you should open your fucking eyes once in a while eh Right, let's grab that. We've got a zombie. A dead zombie. And we have a sewer worker's note. It happened again. They got cane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. I tried to warn him, warn him when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cop said he probably skipped town, but I said no way. Not with his baby coming any day. But did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Fucking puke-breathing toad-faced motherfuckers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops out of the tunnels. And it's not like I can count on the fucking cops. I don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Next time one of those freaks shows its face, I'm going to hit it right in its big ugly mouth. Yeah. Yeah. How'd, uh, <clears throat> How'd that work out for you, buddy? How'd that work out for you, buddy? Right, so can we not, hang on, how, oh, so there's a ladder here apparently, but, oh no, maybe not, okay, man, imagine how horrific that is, being trapped down here with these fucking things chasing your ass, 
Oof. I mean, Nemi's bad. I mean, ne Nemi's just a dick. A lovable dick. But a dick penis man nonetheless. These guys. Oof. These guys are monstrous. But then all you need to defeat these guys is a, you know, flame round loaded grenade launcher. So, you know, kind of balances out, I guess. All right. You know what we haven't... Oh, fuck. Um, shit. I was not expecting one of these here. Reload. Oh, God. Uh, this is kind of bad. This is very... Oh, game. I can't actually believe we survived that. I thought we were fucked. And not the good kind of fucked. Okay. Let's open these Tamo locks that we remember from RE2 Remake. Ooh. And we're out of space. That's awkward. Uh, is there another item room here somewhere? We've got the security office. Ah, oh, and up here there's a ladder we can knock down. Yeah, I'd actually forgotten that hunters were really good jumpers. They can move. But then, Jill's got a shotgun, so, you know. Kind of balances out in the end. Um, how do we get in there? Ah, right, the door. Yes. Generally speaking, you use the doors to get around. Well, this isn't an item room, but there is a hip pouch. Very, very, very nice. Now, just like Chris Leon, uh, Chris Leon? No, just like uh, our friends in Resident Evil 2 Remake, we're literally strapped up with pouches. We've got some candy there, nice. We've got some explosive powder, very nice. Security room is done, I think. What are we meant to do in here then? I mean, if that was the objective to get to the security room, we've done it. Find a way above ground. There's nowhere in here. Alright, oh. We, ah, wait. Nope, we've unlocked that. Ah, right, hang on, there's another door down there. I see. I got ya. I'm buying what you're selling. Give me that. Alright, cool. Um, so we've got a battery pack. Any more Hunter Gammas? Because so far, that's five. Now, you never really, in the Resident Evil games, had that many of them. Um... We can go back to the manager's office, actually, jiggle our junk around, which probably is a good idea. Oh, God. Is there going to be any more? Nope. Pansies. They've had enough Jill today. Right, so. Drop. Drop. How's our health, actually? Health is fine. Drop the herb. Drop the sh grenade rounds. Drop that. Do we want the grenade? <sighs> I don't know. Might take that single shotgun shell. That gives us 18. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Okay. I'd say we're in really good shape. We've got tons and tons of gunpowder. Tons of explosives. We've got... Full pack of 20 shotgun shells left in the tank. We're really good. We've got loads of herbs and all that shit, so we're fine. It's definitely been easier than RE2. But I think that's because you just get so much more ammo. Um, having said that, RE2 wasn't hard. 
But what slowed the pace of RE2 down was the puzzles. There was a lot of puzzles. Whereas this one doesn't have many. This one's definitely more action based. And I don't mind that. I don't mind it because the action and the fighting in this game is so smooth Hello. and so polished. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. Subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. <laughs> yeah, we lost him. Did we? You sure? Positive about that, Jill? <clears throat> oh! I was actually being sarcastic. I didn't think he was literally going to be there. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Um, cool, I guess. Oh, dude. Well, she said she wanted to burn her clothes. I mean, can uh, use weapons. Uh, yes, I guess. Oh, stuff in here. The save room. We're on twenty-six minutes. Uh, there's loads of stuff here. Is that everything? That is everything. Uh, I think we'll... I guess we're in a boss fight. Maybe. We've got grenades. Uh, I don't know what Nemesis would be weak to. Obviously in the original he was weak to freeze rounds. And freeze rounds were a secret type of ammo. Uh, I guess we'll take him. Mm. I don't know, guys. Well, we'll save it. And we'll see if we can do him in with what we've got. So, Nemesis has a flamethrower, huh? Well, that's new. I mean, he had his trusty rocket launcher in the original, but... Uh, flamethrower? Oh, Jesus. That's definitely different. Yep. Kiss my ass, zombie. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, oof. Yeah, no shit, Jill. We're on it, we're on it, we're on it. Um, Christ. Come on, Joe. There's no time to fuck around now. Uh, shit, where are we going? Nope, we're not going that way. Oh, there's a ladder there. Maybe up the ladder. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, he's so menacing. He's so menacing. Oh, he's so cute. He's my little cuddly bear. Run from the cuddly bear with a flamethrower, Jill. Ooh, hey friend. I would say he's more mobile than the original, but... Eh, I mean, in the scripted scenes in the original, he was pretty mobile. Let's just keep going whilst he torches this entire building. Collateral damage and all that. Oh, Jesus. It's getting hot in here. But then maybe Nemi's just trying to help Jill out. Because Jill said she wanted to burn her clothes. And here Nemi, you know, just turns up with a flamethrower. That's pretty good of him, really. You've probably ever heard her. Alright, let's go up. I see plenty of health items. I see we've hit a save spot. Oh, guys, we're on half an hour. Do we do the boss? Oh, notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the, Barn the Barnaba office building demolition in response to ongoing public unrest. For safety reasons, all electronic equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof for safekeeping. Entry to the premises is prohibited until the current unrest has uh, subsided. All employees are to stay at home and await further instructions. Guys, I want to do him in, but unfortunately we've hit our magical 30 minute mark and... Ah, I guess we're going to have to 
play with ne Nemesis tomorrow. Um, hmm. Oh, this sucks. Ah, God damn it. Well, it is what it is, I'm afraid, guys. We're going to put down a hard save. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.